In this video, we will look at project budget control settings. Budget control is usually configured separately for each project. However, several settings for budget control apply to all projects. Let's look at project cost control settings. If we go to project management and accounting, set up project management and accounting parameters, and we go to cost control. When you change these global settings, they apply only to new projects. Existing projects are not affected. So under cost control, here we specify whether we want the cost controls to apply to remaining or total budget and which cost template to use as default. Obviously, we can create new templates. Here, we choose which forecast models will apply to our original total and remaining forecasts. Under cost commitments, we need to decide whether we want budget control before actual costs are posted or only when actual costs are posted to the project. To perform budget control when the actual costs are posted to the project, we leave all the toggles off. For budget control before the actual costs are posted, that is committed costs, we toggle on the desired transaction type. When these transactions are submitted to the workflow, the project budget is checked and the available budget amounts are reduced. Now to do this, before the transaction is submitted to workflow, when the transaction is saved, we can toggle the check budget on document line save. Here we can also select the default intervals and toggle other options for carrying forward remaining budgets at the end of the year. Now the default setting allows budget overruns and we can define overrun options for specific user groups or, or projects in the project budget settings for user groups form, which is accessible here. Again, if we change this option, it will only apply to new projects. It will not affect existing projects.